Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Tomb of the Cybermen, which is the uh, full, to see, uh, full story in Season 5 of classic Doctor Who. And this is like such a highly regarded story. Everybody's like, you know, talks about, oh, if you're going to watch a Trouton story, definitely watch the Tomb of the Cybermen. And I could definitely see why. First of all, all four episodes exist. That's very rare for Trouton. All of his up, most of his stories, there's at least like one or two episodes that are missing, if not the entire thing. So... I think this is a good, like, jumping on point for people who don't want to deal with the animations or the missing episode reconstructions and stuff. So, I personally don't really mind that. It is nice, though, to see an entire story that still exists. So, uh, this is Victoria's first big adventure in the TARDIS, and she takes it surprisingly well, you know. This is before Victoria gets written and it's just being a damsel in distress. I think her first few stories is actually quite competent, and she just evolves into screaming all the time. So... I don't know, maybe there was a change of vitals or something. But, um, yeah, so the Doctor, Jamie, and Victoria land on this ice planet of Tellus, and they they meet these archaeologists, um, and they're trying to find the lost tombs of the Cybermen. So, of course, the Doctor's like, hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't investigate these uh, tombs of the Cybermen, uh, because... Big spoiler alert, the Cybermen come out of the tombs. Now that moment is super tense. I love it. It still holds up today, like almost 60 years later, 55 years later, however long it's been. I think it's it's such an iconic moment in the series, and the classic Cybermen theme, do, 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 bah, 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 that playing as it happens, it just adds to the tension. Because by now, this is our third Cyberman theme. Well, like, our third Cyberman story. And the second one used the Cyberman theme. So, you've now, like, linked the music to the Cyberman. And, I, I don't know. It's such a great scene. Um, I'm so glad these episodes have been rediscovered. Because I feel like I remember reading that they were lost for a long time until they were discovered. And everybody's like, oh my god, the story's amazing. It takes a while for the Cybermen to actually show up in the story, but I think that's for the best. You know, they'll keep ramping up the tension. And of course, those those stupid-ass humans who are like, we want to work with the Cybermen. It's like, okay, how many times are you going to teach you this lesson, old man? Do not try to work with the Cybermen or the Daleks, because they'll eventually betray you. It's, trust me. You know, I've, I've seen too many episodes of this show to um, realize that they're not going to listen. They never do. Same. Always throw hands in the cast register store. I went a little Chuck McGill there for a while. But, yeah, I don't know. I think um, the set design looks really cool, too. It looks really, like, eerie. And, I don't know, you could tell they put a lot of effort in it, even if they didn't really have much of a uh, budget. But I, I think it... You know what? They did the best they can. It looks great. I, I think this story would look good, like, remastered and shown on a uh, movie theater. Like, it's on my list of Doctor Who episodes I'd like them to show at the movie theater. To be honest, they haven't shown Doctor Who episodes on a movie theater in a long time. I wish they'd start doing that again. I, I like the scene where the Victoria is still sad about her dad and the Doctor conf, con, um, comforts her about it. And says like, oh, you know, he's really old, but he never stops thinking about his family. He just kind of learns to keep them like in the back of their mind, you know. He's still thinking about them, but he also has to, you know, get through the day and stuff. That's a, such a sweet moment because Troughton, he's a very affectionate doctor i'd say we don't see it that often because most of the time he's too busy trying not to get killed by a monster or an evil politician or something but once in a while we get those really sweet moments with him and i don't know kind of has that like halt in the list um kind of how halt had those really sweet moments with his companions sometimes charlton kind of gets one himself but yeah we don't really see him do that that often but when he does it's always very sweet and i always appreciate it so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this story down in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys next week for The Abominable Snowman, another really good Charlton story. These stretch of episodes have been on a roll lately. I, I, this is, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Charlton era, so I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.